know, I'm keeping a whole stack with you. I think that Don Q should like try to get a Pell Grant or something. I don't know how much money he got, and try to go to college. Because if this is the best that he could do against a singing dude, you know, maybe rap just isn't for him. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, I was only going to cover this, like, you know, not that much, a little bit, but it seems like this is really a thing, and Tory Lanez has really created a lane for himself pun intended and the lane for Tory Lane seems to be that he calls out every rapper that wants to get a shot they drop a rap and then he drops a rap after them now real quick before I go any further I'm gonna explain why this second disc by Don Q one it wasn't good enough and two it was way too late and once again wasn't good enough look when you have a guy calling everybody out, he can't spend three weeks on you. You drop your disc, he drops a reply. That's what it is. Now he got to move over to more business. Right now, as far as I know, he has JR Ryder and also my son to deal with. And there's this other dude. I forgot his name right now. But he's just some random guy. He dropped the track going against, uh, going against Tory Lanez. And it's way better than anything Don Q dropped. Just gonna throw that out there. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna explain why Don Q needs to just bow out gracefully. Point being is, his second track isn't as good as the first one. Another point is, I don't think he knows how to pick battle rap beats. He's tricking dope beats to rap over, but he doesn't have the voice to carry the carry the song. So while he's picking dope beats to rap on. His voice is getting drowned out by the music, by the song. So, on his own track, he's not even a star. That's not a good look. All right, so, I just want to throw this out there real quick. One, I don't think that uh, it's going to be in Tory Lane's best interest to try to go back at my song. I think he should absolutely leave that alone and act like he didn't hear that song. But, when he went at Don Q... A lot of people are seeming to pick the ether approach. That's exactly what uh, Pusha T did to Drake. He chose the ether approach. He said, look, I'm not going to just battle you with bars. I'm not going to try to get slick and witty with it. I know some stuff about you. And I'm going to I'm gonna say these things. And I'm going to come right at you. But Pusha took it to the next level. Because Pusha also, he drops like double and triple entendres in there. And um, these rappers nowadays ain't doing that. So as much as you think you're the best rapper out here, Tory Lanez, that's only because the best rappers ain't going to come at you. That's a fact. Pusha's not going to waste his time with you. I don't see why Drake would waste his time with you. Not that Drake is more of a pop artist to me. Everybody knows. That's, that's my opinion on it. Um, I just don't see the, I don't think J. Cole is going to waste his time with you. Um, Kendrick Lamar isn't going to waste his time with you. You understand what I'm saying? These guys that, that are actually, you know, great aren't going to waste their time with you. No disrespect to you, Tory Lanez. You seem to be doing better than holding your own with the competition that decided to step to the forefront, even though I don't think it would be in your... You better just, just act like my son doesn't exist like everybody else does because my son is a beast, and I can't see many MCs actually wanting to go ball for ball with that dude. And I think he went light with the my son diss. I think my son kind of went light on you, and he waiting for you to, to come out of pocket. And then it's going to get dangerous. But, you know, who knows? Anyway, so uh, Don Q drops this rap, his second rap going at it. Supposed to be the second Tory Lanez diss. 
and I guess he realizes. See, this is how you know you know a dude got hammered. Tory Lanez drops his disc yesterday. Don Q drops the disc the same day. So Don Q either already had that that disc ready, or he heard it and immediately he ran to the studio if he wasn't already there. Seriously, maybe he just did it in his crib on some fucking uh, some some, some on his computer. I don't know, but it wasn't good enough. One, two. You know a dude know he lost when he em- when, when when you know he lost the the previous round when he immediately dropped something unless he was just ready. Now in the beginning of the jump off, you hear him say, "We not friends no more." That's how you know a dude lost. Because before when you talking now, nah, we cool and shit. Make sure you drop that hook for me. Yada yada. This and this and that. And then after you drop your verse and it's over and you, the guy see he got ethered, you see that he was taken care of. Now all of a sudden we ain't friends no more. SMD. You see how he giving it up? Don Q know he lost that first round. So everybody talking about Don Q to win that first round, he know he lost. Um, it is what it is. All right, so I want y'all to tell me what y'all think. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for the second Don Q. Uh, rap. I just, I just think he was just rapping. He was doing. We was trying to do rapidly rap, 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 and he's not really that good at doing the rapidly rap, rap thing. So it's a rap for Don Q. I think he better like you know, I don't know. Try to get his Instagram up or something. Something like an Instagram model. I don't know. Got to figure something out. This going that Tory Lanez thing that ain't gonna work. If he tries to make an, first of all, I don't think Tory Lane should respond. And if he tries to act like, oh, Tory Lane's not responding because he's scared, then you're going to look as delusional as freaking Adrian Broner after that Pacquiao fight. Yo, I beat him. <laughs> Yo, somebody make a meme of that. Somebody make a a, a, a meme of Adrian Broner with Don, with Don Q head or Adrian Broner talking about, you know, I beat that boy. <laughs> We need that meme. We need that meme. Anyway, leave it down in the comment section. Somebody email me that meme. I swear, if somebody makes that meme and email that meme to me, I'm putting it up, and you, your name is going to be forever attached to it. That's going to be a new thing. Um, Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombs. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.